I'm currently in Masset. Well, actually, I'm east of Masset. I'm in between, almost directly smack dab in between Masset on Haida Gwaii and Toe Hill. These plants are, live every single moment of their existence on a, in a high salt environment. So I'm curious to know which species can take it. In many ways, you know, the outer defense of the entire island is comprised of this vegetation complex. And it's got to be hardy. It's exposed to high winds. It's exposed to uh, a high sodium environment. And... Uh, you know, really, uh, I recognize a whole bunch of the species that are out here, you know, like steppe moss and uh, Hylocomium splendens and Sitka spruce and all kinds of different uh, goat beard and, you know, they're, they're nitrogen fixers, those plants. This whole part of the island, I think, is really interesting. If you look at the, not the historical records, but uh, the Geological Survey of Canada did an evaluation along this entire northern coastline of Haida Gwaii, Graham Island, you know, and uh, so a lot of the uh, development of what you see here today occurred over the last nine and a half thousand years, where you have Toe Hill, giant basaltic rock formation, that was nine and a half thousand years ago was a solitary island. Way off in the distance was the island of Haida Gwaii. Nine and a half thousand years ago was almost Pleistocene epoch where we had woolly mammoths, we had uh, all kinds of interesting animals. You know, cave bear, the predecessors to today's uh, grizzly bear. You know, strange times indeed. Whether or not even Haida Gwaii was glaciated is, an, is another question. I think that uh, there's a lot of science that has said that only if there was any glaciation on Haida Gwaii, it only occurred in very, very minor areas, just long enough for a sea bridge to occur for people to actually migrate over to the island, which possibly at that time could have been, you know, the, the beginnings of the Haida people. It's fascinating the way the the currents eddied around this rock and you know sands and gravels would coalesce in behind and once that body formation started to grow it would have more of a hydrological effect for these eddies to, to occur and gravel deposits would wash up event after event and then before you know it you started to, to uh, see this surface sandy gravel kind of deposits start to form in behind Toe Hill and then from there it would expand and expand in the spit the way the currents were carving and molding this spit out of the ocean and developing this an extension to the island like an arm or a peninsula coming off the northeast tip and uh, all because of Toe Hill and all because of currents while on one side it's actually giving birth to more sand the other side, the eastern side of the spit is actually eroding it taking away from it. So depending on how much sediment you have washed on top of it, the currents on the other side are constantly a counteracting force. It's kind of a feng shui or a, a, what do you call that Korean symbol? Yin and yang?
Sure love the ocean, but uh, let me tell you, man. This here is a huge tsunami wave zone. Huge. They get lots of earthquakes here. And uh, this area, because of its proximity to that, to the Pacific Ring of Fire, means that uh, you shouldn't be living here unless you're a prepper. You got a plan, and you got a kit, and you're ready to execute it. If that tsunami wave is coming towards you, man. After watching uh, Fukushima, Japan, after the earthquakes there, what happened to that entire coastline? I mean, on the very beach that I'm walking on right now, for, for roughly two years, the tides took pieces of Japan, floated them across the Pacific Ocean, and landed them on this beach that I'm walking on right now. They found motorcycles. They found uh, lots of basketballs, footballs tennis balls, all anything that would float, you know, it was on that, the tides took them here. Hopefully the wind wasn't too bad. You know, if, if all you've heard is the whole time, it's going like, what the hell? Don't do that again. This is more of a test. Anyway, hope you guys are doing great. Cheers, and as always, Maple Leaf up.